All right, here we are on, let me get them in focus, on day two of our ear mite trial. And the coolest thing, so the kitten has only had one treatment of the essential oil solution into the ear and this swab before we treated today again are basically just showing um, dead ear mites. So that's pretty cool. Um, there was, oopie. Let's find another one. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm a little bit camera challenged today. Da -da 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 -da. Whoop. There you are. Arrgh. I don't think that was the same one I just had, but um, they're not moving. Let's see if I can get this other one into view. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'll focus in on this one again. Not crawling. Maybe some leg twitches on this one, but um, pretty inactive. Um, the kitten's ears, um, again, they're always a little bit irritated, so it it had a you know some inflammation. But uh, when there's hundreds of ear mites in your ears, you're going to have some of that. I do not think there was any contributing factor to um, inflammation from essential oils at this time. But I'm really really looking positive here at uh, at the amount of debilitation of the ear mites. So we will continue our course and keep monitoring and showing you results.